is affiliate marketing really worth it? This is a question I get uh, quite often. So let's figure it out. So yeah, affiliate marketing. Um, I am a big proponent of affiliate marketing. Um, just the other day, I uh, tweeted out, I figured it out. Um, approximately 80% of my income is derived from affiliate marketing. Uh, like 19% is from freelance writing and 1% is usually from some shit I did like, uh, you know, a couple years ago. I just, I get paid for um, every now and then. But affiliate marketing is, uh, you know, how I, uh, how I pay the rent <laughs> on this on this majestic place here but uh in all seriousness though yeah i think uh affiliate marketing is worth it if uh you follow a few very very simple uh very simple rules you know like uh like a lot of things affiliate marketing is simple but uh but not necessarily easy so affiliate marketing is is very easy to get into there's a very very low uh barrier to entry right so you can just find an offer start making content put it out on social media and in theory uh you could be making money um the first day in theory like a lot of things you know theory and practice are uh, are two very different things so there's a lot of affiliate marketing theory out there. Um, most of it is, I think, not usable uh, in the real world and when you actually have to like, you know, sell something and get a commission for it. But uh, I got three, three rules to follow or three, three questions uh, you, need to be an you need to answer uh, in order to determine if affiliate marketing is really worth it uh, for you. So let's get into those three questions. Number one, does your product solve a problem for your market? And I highly suggest that you start off uh, promoting a product, okay? So once you do your, your market research and figure out who your, your niche market is going to be, you gotta figure out what problems they have and does your offer solve those problems or at least one of those problems right you can't sell something just because it pays out a high commission or you know somebody else or a lot of people are doing it or it's popular or it's a fad whatever does this product that you're that you're promoting does it solve a problem yes or no right it's a very simple question the answer better be yes all right, so if the answer is yes, then let's move on to the next question. The second question is, do you have any experience with said product, all right? Now, all of my affiliate marketing that I've done has been products that I have actually used. I've documented, documented the, uh, the process, and that's the content that I put out. So I have experience with them, whether they be you know, the sildenafil or CBD or the mate endurance or whatever, you know, whatever product I happen to be promoting at the time, I always use the product first, right? If it doesn't work, I'm not going to promote the product because why am I going to promote a product that doesn't work, right? But if it does work, the easiest thing to do is to document my experience with the product, right? So I have experience. So do you have experience with this product? Yes or no? Again, the answer better be yes. And the final question is, can you create valuable content for your audience? This is where most people uh, lose the plot uh, in, in affiliate marketing. They just basically send out uh, sales pitch after sales pitch, basically ad after ad, uh, without actually providing any any value uh, to their audience. So you've seen the videos that I've done on this channel, right? Uh, 
I go through the beginning of me using the product, pros and cons of the product, any issues I've had with it, uh, what's good about it, what could be different, uh, all that stuff, right? Things that I think my audience uh, will will want to know, right? Questions they have. I provide, I make content that answers those questions, provides value uh, to my audience, and makes a sales pitch at the end, right? Because this is what we're doing. It's it's affiliate marketing. We got to somebody's got to buy something before, you know, anybody gets paid. So, if you can answer yes to all three of those questions, then yes, affiliate marketing will be worth it for you, because not only are you going to be providing a good service to your audience, you're going to be, you know giving them value, answering their questions, solving their problems. But you're also going to, you know, feel good about yourself because let me tell you something. When I get like a positive comment on one of my videos or a response for, from, you know, whatever social media post I, I put out there, that makes me feel good. You know, it makes me feel good about myself. Not only because, yes, I'm making some money. I mean, that's really, you know, the whole point of doing this. But I also know that, uh, you know, I'm doing something good. So if you can answer yes to all three of those of those questions, then you're going to be on your way to a, uh, a very successful uh, affiliate marketing career. And finally, listen, we all make mistakes. I've made a bunch of mistakes uh, during my affiliate marketing journey. Right. And luckily for you guys, I have a free ebook called Deadly Affiliate Marketing Mistakes. Right. It goes over, I think, nine uh, of the top uh, mistakes that I've made and seen other affiliate marketers make. It's a free ebook. The link is in the description below. And not only does it go over uh, the mistakes that, that uh, most affiliate marketers make, but how to rectify that and how to avoid uh, those mistakes in the first place. So again, it's a free ebook. It's really good. I spent some time writing this goddamn thing. So, uh, you know, pick it up. Link in the description below. And, um, that's all I got for today. Like and share the video and uh, see you soon.